and that I will always have a free-spirited heart just like she did is because I think that it leads to a lot of amazing things. And I think that her free spirit and her mind and her wild heart is something that all of us can learn to do and to always take a risk, even if it is scary, and to always take on a task no matter how big and to always be down for an adventure because sometimes those are the parts of life that are worth living, even if they seem scary at first. And that is something that she taught me. And that's it. Go, Cassie. Kathy, is that her name? Jamie, Jamie. What's Come on, up? Jamie. Jamie. Huh. Is that her name, Kathy? Cassie. 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 What's uh, Trace's son's name? Cody. Cody. Yeah. Dave? You can do it. Anybody else would like to share? You can do it, Dave. Speak from the heart. Speak from the heart. Speak from the heart. Yeah. Come on, JJ. You got this, man. No, I don't. I don't. I hear you, man. I didn't want to come up here because I'm not going to make it. I want to keep you positive. Amen. Tracy was always positive. Amen. <laughs> you know, she, uh, the thing that got me about Tracy, oftentimes, you know, I was working in civil engineering and uh, she always had this great idea. <laughs> and uh, she's very entrepreneurial, if you will. And, uh, was very excited and passionate about these new endeavors that she'd have. And, you know, Julie, how long have we been knowing Tracy? You said 25 years? Feels more like 35. Okay. I'm 60 now? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> well, if I'm 60, you're 29, right? Okay. All right. So. <laughs> um, she was very entrepreneurial and very passionate about what she did. And, and always excited about these new endeavors. And John, you gotta hear about this. And I gotta tell you about this. And we're gonna do this. And 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 maybe your firm would want to get involved with this. And you know, as much as I'd like to get involved, and I didn't want to dash your dreams. And so I'd always kind of keep it optimistic and and say, you know, Trace, I'll look into it. You know, we'll consider that. And well, who knows what'll happen down the road. And, and, uh, you know, there were times I'd only see Tracy maybe a couple of times a year. And every time I'd see her, she had this new, new venture coming up, you know? Right? <laughs> okay, you know what I'm talking about. And I love that about Tracy. She wasn't afraid to go after these things and, and go after it with her heart and her passion and just everything that she was. And uh, I really appreciate that about Tracy. Um, Harley Davidson, and boy, every time I got a bike, she would go for a ride. <laughs> so we'd go for a motorcycle ride just to get out of her system. And I bought that darn Camaro. She had to go for riding that darn thing for a while. And so that was cool. But you know, the mamas, you know, they always had this. The mamas, I, I've got my own name for the mamas, but I'll keep that to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it's not a bad thing, it just kind of, it rhymes with gold digging mamas, but you know. <laughs> they like to hang out at Elways and Shanahan's and all these upscale places, dressed to the nines. They're like, come on, John, come with us. I said, no, 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 I can't afford all that. You girls go ahead. But you got to love them, man. They went after it all the time. They just get all together and go do their thing, and it was really cool, really cool. But you know, Julie used to have these great parties at her parents' house. Every time the parents would go to Mexico, Julie's having a party. Just don't tell my my parents, you know. Paul knows that. <laughs> and you know, one thing about Tracy at these parties, if I didn't know anybody, Tracy was right there making me feel at home. She was right. It's alright, it's alright. You're here, man. <laughs> she, 
she always made you feel like her best friend. Amen. And that was genuine, it was sincere, and it was who she was, okay? And I just love Tracy. And uh, you know, when I got the news, Therese calls, hey, I'm over here at the hospice. You know, you better come on over and see her. Like, All right, I'll be there the next day. And gone. Fuck. So, anyways, um, on a positive note, all those things about Tracy, her entrepreneurial spirit, her passion, her sincerity, her genuineness, her friendliness, it was all so sincere. It was all about, it's all who she was. And uh, I'm really going to miss that in my life. And, um, I feel grateful to have had her in my life. So thank you, Tracy. May God rest your soul. Say anything? No pressure. Dave? Nah? How about on this side? Alright, Pete. Let's get this music started, man. Yeah, let's do some dope. Yeah, let's do it, man. I got you. You, I got you. I just want to thank everybody who came out. This means a lot to me, and it means a lot to Tracy. And guess what? You guys are all here, and she heard you very well. So, amen. Yes. You can sing your duet. Yeah. She can sing along with you. Like, a, like a, you saw the video. I'm just curious. Who on first did a song on karaoke? But, uh, oh, shoot. Bruce, I know you want first dibs, bro. Come up here, man. Oh, shit. What song are we singing? 